Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'll tell you how to do the Paduans Mobile Cam 90fps drop test in the POCO F3 GT device. Yes friends, right now I'm trying to use the POCO F3 GT device at this moment and uh, so right now I'm trying to use the 90fps in the Paduans Mobile Cam and you can actually see the exactly drop test which I'm trying to do on the Pochinki map first and I'll try to do the couple of drop tests and then I'll try to do the team that match and in this way we'll be able to conclude how his FPS is maintaining in the POCO F3 GT with the Dimensity 1200 chipset. Right now in the Pochenki match I did not see any kind of uh, huge decrease in terms of FPS at this moment. It was able to maintain good, not that. The 85 is the lowest one I did see at this point while playing the game. I'll try to do the, even the bootcamp Sano uh, map as well, so make sure you stay tuned. So this is a request which has been asked by a few of my subscribers asking me to use a 90 FPS, so this is a video for you all the 90 fps and it was able to maintain really good with the 89 consistent i'm getting so right now if you want to play 90 fps you should only use the config file or maybe the gfx tool only then you will be able to play at 90 fps without that you won't be able to play at 90 fps at this moment that's a kind of uh, disadvantage at this point So even you need to focus on the temperatures as well, how much temperature outside is of close to 38 degrees at this moment, not bad. So playing with the 90 FPS that will definitely increase the higher temperatures in your mobile phone. That's another thing you should definitely take care when you're trying to play, play the game. So the latency is not bad in terms of the trigger points as you can see. The gaming tickets are working absolutely functioning fantastic no, not much lag at this moment in terms of the gaming triggers so let's move to the next map uh Sanok boot camp and then i'll try to do the team that match so in this way i'll be able to conclude this batting on mobile gameplay and let me just select the map And this is my first time doing the 90 fps uh, gameplay test in this poco f3 gt in the batigons mobile game which is 1.6.0 version that is the exact version which i'm trying to use uh, right now in this video so in case if you want me to do any other reviews on other phones let me know in the conversation below what other devices you want me to compare definitely i'll be comparing with those devices as soon as possible I'm just trying to test, test this gaming triggers. It was able to perform really good, not bad. Let's see friends, what will be the FPS drop test in the bootcamp exactly. And after this, I'll try to play the team that match as well. So then we'll be able to understand. So all from the time to till now, I've been using the POCO F3 GT from the beginning to now. So whenever I try to play with the 90 FPS, I did not have any kind of issues that I never felt that phone is not capable. It is really capable of playing 90 FPS, but still officially we did not get the update. That's the kind of really sad part. I'm not sure when we'll be getting that kind of official 90 FPS update still. So the POCO team and the MI team, they need to work very hard to, game in con to come in contact with the game developers as soon as possible. Hopefully we can get the update as soon as possible. It was able to maintain 88, not bad. So overall I was able to maintain exactly 80 and 90 FPS, 89 and 90, not a problem in this phone at this moment. Not much complaints and uh, let's move to the next map which is a team that match which I'll try to play a couple of minutes and then I'll try to end up this uh, video. So now let's play the team that match, let's see what happens in this team that match and uh, so if we go with the exact FPS maintaining, so in the team that match we should not have any kind of issues in terms of the FPS count obviously but let's see how is the gameplay. Only for just a couple of minutes I'll try to play and I'll try to end up this video. I won't take much time of yours and here we go the team that match started successfully and
So right now you'll be able to exactly focus on the FPS count how much I'm getting. I think you can actually see there. So first time, 89 and 90 FPS. It's maintaining exactly 18 and 19 not a problem. So I was able to play perfectly all right with this phone without any kind of much problem and triggers were really good. As you can see friends the response is really good so not bad. So it was perfectly fine playing with the 90 fps. As you can see friends overall it was able to maintain really good. Oh my god. <laughs> Guns, bullets, bullets. As you can see friends the FPS is maintaining exactly 90 and 89 not an issue in terms of FPS count it's perfect so that's it friends uh, thank you for watching this video and overall this is a quick game through review of the Poké F3 GT using the 90 FPS count I think now you got, got to know about the gameplay in this phone that's perfect Thank you, thank you for watching this video and overall the phone was able to maintain really good in terms of the 90 fps in this 1.6.0 version in the battery hands mobile game in the poco f3 gt see you in the next video friends i'll see you for more updates meanwhile signing off bye